and welcome to another tutorial presented by www.computerforums.org and presented by me, NeoDude11 Today I'm going to show you how to control your Windows based PC using a Windows mobile based smartphone. You're just going to want to make sure that it's Wi-Fi enabled. So to start off with, you'll need to go to the download link in the description and install this server software on your computer and install the remote software onto your smartphone. Okay, now once you've done all of that, start the GR Remote software on your computer and then head over to the Status tab. Now in this box, it's about to come up, yep, this one, you're going to want to take down the first IP address. You're going to need that when we configure the software on your phone. Okay, now go to your smartphone and enable your Wi-Fi connection and then make sure it's connected to the network. Now, once that's done, you're going to want to start the GR Remote Program, which you should find in your Start menu or in your Application Launcher. Now, for the first time you start it, you're going to have to make a profile, which is where you type in your computer's IP address and the password if you set one. Once you've done all that, just save it, set it as the default, and then go back to the main menu, and then press Go, and it'll connect to your computer. And there we go, we're connected. Now we have six different options. We have an MX Air simulation, a touchpad, a keyboard control, a media center remote, um, your keyboard, and a game controller. I can't get the game controller to work. I don't exactly know how to use that. Um, now I'll just show you a little demo of how it works. Okay, so here's a recording of my desktop, and I'm going to control it solely using um, the GR Remote software. So this is just a demo of the remote. You can pretty much do anything you could do from your keyboard. You've got the arrow keys, you've got your window key, your escape, also a close button, and your left mouse click so you can open up programs and such. Also comes in handy when you want to use Windows Media Center. This is the touchpad feature. It's very good. Um, be the better that your touch screen your phone has, the better um, the mouse control will be. I'll just give a little demo in Windows Media Center. The only bad thing about it is if you hold your finger on one of the arrows, it doesn't continuously use it, it only activates it once, so you've got to kind of tap it lots of little times to get somewhere. You'll notice I'm using a Samsung Omnia i900. I highly recommend this phone. It is very good, reliable, and it's pretty budget conscious too. Okay, so we've got full control of Windows Media Center using the arrow keys. Also, the Windows Media controls in the GR Remote software also work for Windows Media Center, which is a nice touch. Because of the range of Wi-Fi, you can take your phone around you, around the house, do whatever, and control your computer from wherever. And that's the demo. Um, if you have any questions, just either go to www.computerforums.org and make a new thread, or just post in this video here. Thank you for watching.